welcome all of you virtual classes youtube channel in this video lecture we will discussing about the vitamin k chemistry biological functions rda deficiency symptoms and hypervitaminosis <clears throat> like vitamin a d and e vitamin k is also a fat soluble vitamin and the vitamin k is required for the production of the blood clotting factors and their essential role for coagulations in german coagulations is right as a coagulations hence the this name is known as vitamin k among the vitamin a d e and k this is the only fat soluble vitamin with have specific coenzyme functions now we will discussing about the chemistry of vitamin k vitamin k is exist in the different forms vitamin k1 that is phylloquinone is present in the plants while vitamin k2 minoquinone is produced by the intestinal bacteria and it also present in the animals while vitamin k3 minadion it is a synthetic form of vitamin k all the vitamin form k1 k2 and k3 are naphthoquinone derivatives and all the form of vitamin k1 k2 and k3 are stable to heat now we will discussing about the absorption transport and storage of vitamin k so vitamin k is taken in diet or synthesized by the intestinal bacteria so its absorption takes place along with the fat because they are fat soluble vitamins with the help of coelomicron they are absorbed and their absorptions bile salts are required so it is a so bile salt dependent absorption while the transport of vitamin k is along with the low density lipoprotein that is ldl and it is stored in the liver because they are fat soluble they can be stored excess vitamin k in store in the liver and very lesser extent very lesser amount of vitamin k is stored in other tissues like adipose tissue etc now we will discussing about the biological functions of vitamin k uh, the main function of vitamin k is concerned with the blood clotting factor the vitamin k convert the precursors of clotting factors like uh, clotting factors akin 7th 9th and 10th they convert the pro clotting factors inactive clotting factors into the active clotting factors along with vitamin k the enzymes carboxylase and some gases like oxygen and co2 are required to activate these clotting factors in this carboxylase enzyme add a carboxylic group to the precursors of the clotting factors and these reactions it also inhibited by the antagonistic of vitamin k like dicumerol and warfarin these are the antagonistic of the vitamin k and stop the activations of clotting factors now we will discussing about the recommended dietary allowance that is rda strictly there are no rda value for the vitamin k because they are adequately synthesized in the gut by the bacteria however they recommended that the half of the body requirement from the diet and half required from the bacterial synthesis according to suggested rda value of adults of vitamin k is about 70 to 140 microgram per day now we will discussing the dietary source of vitamin k the source of dietary source of vitamin k is cabbage cauliflower tomatoes spinach and other green vegetables are the good source of vitamin k and vitamin k is also present in the animal products like yolk egg egg yolk meat liver cheese and dairy products now we will discussing about the deficiency symptoms of vitamin k uh, the deficiency of vitamin k Uh, not generally occurs but if any persons have faulty absorption that means lack of bile salt because the absorption of vitamin k bile salt are required if any persons have bile salts are lack that means they have deficiency to absorption of vitamin k that means they have deficiency symptoms and the loss of vitamin into the fecal bile that's why a persons have a diarrheal disease in the diarrheal disease the vitamin are cannot absorb 
adequately that's why they are released along with the fecal materials and third condition that cause deficiency of vitamins that is administration of the antibiotic these antibiotics kill the intestinal bacteria they synthesize the vitamin k out of these three they which the vitamin k deficiency occur inside the human body if any person's deficiency of vitamin k it leads to the lack of active activation of the prothrombin in the blood circulation that results increase the blood clotting time so the consequences of deficiency of vitamin k it increase the blood clotting time because they cannot activate the prothrombin now we will discussing about the hypervitaminosis k if excessive large dose of vitamin k is administered by a person that produce a hemolytic anemia that means the blood cells or rbc cells are hydrolyzes and jaundix in hindi it called pilia is partially uh, particularly this hypervitaminosis is occurs in the infants the toxic effect is due to increased breakdown of the rbc uh, due to hypervitaminosis k hemolytic anemia jaundix and increased breakdown of rbc are occur now we will discussing the antagonistic of vitamin k the compounds namely heparin by uh, bis hydroxy cumarin these are the anticoagulants that's why they are antagonistic to the vitamin k in work because heparin are anticoagulant while vitamin k help in the blood coagulations in other the salicylates and dicumerol are also antagonistic of the vitamin k and the dicumerol is strictly related to vitamin k and act as a competitive inhibitors in the synthesis of the active prothrombin in the previous slide we also see that the dicumerol is a competitive inhibitors of the vitamin k and stop the activations of the prothrombin or other clotting factors so these are the some details of the vitamin k thank you for watching this video